Note. The following document has been authorized for immediate use. Additional details and or procedures may follow before finalization is completed. Item. SCP-466. Object Class. Euclid. Pending possible reclassification after formal review. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-466 is to be sealed in containment cell 73 in E-Block at Research Site 45. E-Block is to remain separated from the main installation for the entirety of SCP-466's captivity. Containment cell 73 is to have a 30 cm thick acrylic observational window installed and the door welded shut from the outside. SCP-466's primary containment component, or its head, and the primary heart connected to the brain stem, are to be locked together in a perforated stainless steel lock box at all times. 1. The head is to be considered a vital component of containment. Efforts must be made to ensure that SCP-466 does not put it in jeopardy and it remains connected at all times. 4 liters of a nutrient-rich water solution is to be sprayed into the containment tank every 10 hours. The nutrient solution will be adjusted and administered by medical staff. An oxygen-rich atmosphere 25% O2 will be maintained in the cell at all times. In the event of a containment breach, SCP-466 is to be suppressed with gas-based flame weaponry. Description. SCP-466 is an amorphous and animate configuration of four human cardiovascular systems. The primary heart of SCP-466 is still attached to the original brain stem and thus still preserves its head. The other three were absorbed during a separate incident post-acquisition and serve no purpose other than additional extensions of the whole. All four hearts of SCP-466 have increased in size by 275% and are observed to beat in synchronization at 130 BPM. SCP-466 is considered to be sentient, as it responds to stimuli and pain in appropriate manners. The veins and arteries of SCP-466 are able to move, as their smooth muscle tissue. The tissue between the intima and adventitia has developed into tissue resembling skeletal muscle. The ends of each appendage is also tipped with a sharp, calcified barb. SCP-466 is observed to be dexterous and extremely mobile, and can even remain on vertical surfaces or ceilings for long periods of time. SCP-466 is capable of producing erythrocytes, monocytes and thrombocytes. It is unknown where the hematopoietic progenitor cells are located, as no bone marrow has been discovered. SCP-466 is not capable of angiogenesis and is dependent on appropriating other human cardiovascular systems in order to increase its mass. SCP-466 can, however, heal itself at an accelerated rate. SCP-466 is able to oxygenate without the use of lungs. It is theorized to extract oxygen and nutrients from the surrounding air. The primary heart still remains connected to the original brain stem, though it has attempted several times to physically separate itself from it including hitting it against hard surfaces or attempting to rip it off. The behavior of this is not fully understood, but it is theorized that separating the head from SCP-466 would trigger another step in its ongoing development. SCP-466 has remained in an agitated state since the development of the perforated lock box placed around its head and primary heart. Small amounts of water have been observed to drain from the perforated lock box, though this is merely from condensation and should be ignored. Do phenotypical similarities to SCP-1429-005, genetic material was compared between the two specimens and found to have multiple orthologous sequences. 
possibly indicating common ancestry.